Welcome to the Five Point Series for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic and we're picking up on the 2nd of July 1959 which is about a month on from the end of the last part and in this part I want to carry on pushing out this way trying to get the road system in place you see we are starting to make progress but I do need to improve the efficiency a little bit more in this area so that we can actually get things to well work it's probably the polite way of saying that so the first thing I want to do is we've got a, well we've got paper truck and a roller in here so obviously we're not unless of course let me just speed the game up and see if this guy no nope. um, I think maybe we don't need a roller and a paper just at the moment uh, I mean we've got these roads here five points road crew I think they're waiting on gravel I mean we are pushing the road out this way um, quite usefully but I think before we start building in some of these main buildings here we're going to start to have to asphalt through here as well in fact I think we're look, that in as asphalt straight away I think and we can probably put that one in as well get that, get that. no that one doesn't need to be asphalt because it's only residential so we can start to get that in there so the focus is very much on there. We're still waiting, well, for the next harvest to come in here. Looks like we got a new vehicle type. I think that's a fork truck manned by first. Now, what I've, I've been thinking a little bit about what we need to do out here. And I think in the last video I was talking about uh, getting a coal mine out here. And I think that's exactly what I want to do. Let me just get in here and I think I'd like to get this I mean I think the main possible coal mine is here Let's just see if we can find something no we've got 18% there 29% there uh, 27 28 31 32 I think the best we're going to get is something like that so I think we're <laughs> yeah I think we're going to plan a coal mine there for 32% and then what we're going to do is I'm going to probably build a small village out here to be able to supply the work and the workers to there. And then what that will mean is we could bring coal in back to here for our, our cement plant there. But we can see we've got the concrete plant coming along. So I've uh, got a road junction there. I think we'll start with apple. I think we're just come off here at an angle like that. I think we're going to go straight out across the wilderness like this. Whoops. I don't want that. <laughs> I think we're head straight for the road and then I can branch off if it'll be necessary. Now I don't want to be too close to the coal mine so I think what we'll do is we'll probably put the uh, south or north of the border. I think we'll probably tuck the village in about here i don't think there's much else we're not going to use i mean we could use this gravel but we've already got a fairly good amount of gravel supply there so i think we'll just run you down there except that and then what that will do is allow us to push out this way get to the coal mine and well let's just do a little bit of extra work here as well so we've got the coal mine, we're going to need a 
small aggregate store. Uh, that's three ones, it's no good. 1950. Um, which is this, this is 870. Um, there's part of me that says, yeah, a little bit bigger. That's 15 tons of steel. See, that one's less. Than that. It's 27 tons. I think. Actually, no. I mean, this one is actually quite oddly less steel. Okay, I think we're. Um, actually, if we put it a bit of an odd layout, I think we put this alongside like that. Keep that nice and short so it can save us some money. Uh -huh. Okay, we, we can't. Will the other one go green? No. Okay, we're going to need a. We're going to need to build the road out first and then get a free construction office out here to do the levelling. Oh well, so much for that idea. Let's uh, see, how far off are we from here? We're waiting for bricks. 3.4 tonnes and then we need steel. We're going to need to keep an eye on our money. Brought some trucks out here. To bring logs over here. Wood pitch extraction. I think maybe we'll just push that up a smidge. Get get reserve of logs in from here. I've got rid of the uh, distribu free distribution office there. One thing I do need to check is you know, wear and tear. 39% so we are getting close with the vehicle maintenance um, buildings are still good got no workforce in here but we might need it fairly soon um, we're building a new accommodation here because we are running out of space here um, what's that Connected up. Just want to check here. So we get. Don't think this one will connect up. That's no, well, it's just a hundred and. I don't know. It's a hundred and fifty. This one might not be there, but we can always take this away. Now, another thing I want to focus on is not there, it's here. We're nearly at radio. In fact, we'll just watch that run through. Here we are. So we've now should have access to radio. Um, what do we want to research now? What can we use for the biggest possible bang? Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, we can't do medicine yet. We don't have that. Um, not that much in the way of fuel. We've got chemistry, but I don't really need it at the moment. Bauxite would be nice, or uranium would be nice. Uh, well, actually, renewable energy sources. Now, that could be useful. We could, that's 2,000 though. We don't need anything there. Gas powered, what we got here. We don't really want that there. Radio ball. That they can effectively influence radio broadcast to shape public opinion. I think we're going to go with that, which means we've got to, because I think I really do want to shape public opinion. There we are. Yeah, we'll do that. 
because um, what we do need to do now is think a little bit about a radio station because I would certainly like to where is the radio <laughs> university halls Oh, come on that's way too big right we're gonna have to go for a mod radio radio um, right, I've got a oops what happened there we'll, we'll do a search like this Sometimes it's easier. Got a small radio there. That doesn't take much. Got people's radios too big. I mean, that's not bad. Little Soviet radio. That's 31 tons of steel. I actually quite like this one. I think this will be good enough to get us started. Question is, where am I going to put it? Uh, I kind of, I mean, this is where roughly where our party HQ and all that is. Plus, we've got possibilities of workers there. Um, then again, we could have a surplus workforce down here. Um, the problem's going to be is where can we put it in? We're fine. I put it there just tucked in mm. let's have a quick look we've got 98 workers there we've got potential for workers there um, I could put it in behind like that because technically the road is only needed for fire access so say for example I put you there actually we'll put it down this way a little bit like that and for the moment we'll just do that And then we certainly want the radio built and the footpath in there. I think the radio is going to be quite important because our loyalty is still only 36%. Our, at the moment, our happiness is fairly static. But we do need to get that loyalty up so that we can get things going. Um, how's the concrete plant go? Right, we need a workforce out here. Right, I'm gonna have to hop, kind of rain back on the uh, building just at the moment. Get this done. We need bricks and boards there. Just check our boards production. Make sure yeah, we're not selling boards anymore. We're just keeping them there so that these guys can just supply that workforce because we had the problem with the winter. How much have we got in the way? Props. Uh, considering we're on July, that's not bad actually because we're not really consuming that much in the way of workforce but I do need to think a little bit about the actual thing actually what I do need is we're, we're building this and we're gonna need a workforce out to here so I need what's the how much workers do we need for a concrete plant five so what I do need is back to, we need a couple of mini buses or small vehicles uh, get them in position. 
here. Get a couple of those. The other thing I'm also going to need is a cement trunk. I've put this free distribution office in here. So, is it dry bulk tank? Is it? Um, what have we got here? Zeiss, three tons of. Right, we're going to buy the Zeiss, save a bit of money, get you in there so you can deliver the cement into the concrete works, which is now finished. Got waters, get these workers out here. How's the unemployment? The unemployment, we've got 53 workers round to go. We've got lots of people kind of stood here. Not that many. Okay. So we've now got another person in there. How's the school here? That's the kindergarten. The school's not perfect. I do wonder whether we could shut this school down. We've got another small... It's a kindergarten. Let me see how's the kindergarten here. Well, good for the kindergarten. Actually, more importantly, uh, you have to be careful. We are getting very close to the maximum for our shop here. Now, that's a potential problem. Um, if we get people who can't get food that will have a big impact so that's something else we're going to need to consider and the problem is going to be is where could I put in I mean, we've got two roads coming into here but we've also got a power line there You pick up workers there. It's a little bit of a long way out, but there's not much I can do about it. Except you. Come back to here. Line spacing on. Get you there. Your job is going to be to pick up uh, load of cement. And to begin with, you're going to deliver the cement to here. How much? 40 tons. I think I think 30% is going to be good enough. Right. What's the next thing we really need to build here? Right, we've got dry bulk storage. We've got prefabs. Uh, this has got, I don't think, I think ideally, oh, what I do need is this gas station. Uh, yeah, that's the next thing we want to build. Because there's, because if we're going to push out that way, we need the gas station. Um, do you have a road connection? No, you don't. Okay, we need to build that road connection to the like that. That needs to be built. We've got the, this is the cement plant. You need some form of way to get the workforce out to here. Um, okay, 
we've got this needs to be built uh, that needs to come into there yeah there's no point building this until we've got this built plus we're going to need a source of coal and we need this to be connected in so that's good okay we've got gravel writhing what we'll do is we'll put you now on there and you can start to bring the concrete in from there now we won't have that greater demand for concrete so we'll be okay I want to come back up here Is this actually being built yet? What are you guys looking for? You need mechanisms. Out here. You need mechanisms. Laying gravel. I think what we probably need is another bulldozer. Because we're out, kind of all out of bulldozers. Uh, let me just see us get a... Uh, Got this one here. Uh, 22, 28. Right, we're bringing the, the stanlets there. Because we need to start. If I could get this finished here, and then we could possibly do this back curve. Don't, don't, and we could make that connection under there um, that is in that direction but we could build that to there and then up to there we keep these two way roads the game will cheat a little bit <laughs> I see is that right um, no that yeah that will go up to there if we build that little bit there, then the vehicles can pick up the one-way road there. How are we doing over here? Yeah, we've still got the kind of loop road here. I definitely feel that I need to get these in as asphalt roads before we build in this area here. I'm kind of getting a bit of an impasse, but I don't want to push too hard just at the moment. I think we're still we got the spare accommodation well that was built quick okay um, all right we can't do propaganda at the moment so we're actually reducing loyalty at the moment <laughs> how far off are we from uh, okay we 38 percent so we, we'll get there yeah, this is a drawback with the radio in the sense that we've got cultural education enthusiasm support but we are reducing having a negative impact on loyalty at the moment but i think we can counter that just with our own monuments and stuff like that so we're okay um a bit worried on the fact we're on the 9th of august and none of our fields seem to be Oh, yeah, we've got our first beginning of a harvest here on 80%. Uh, we've got, yeah, so we're starting to get a little bit there. Um, so we started bringing in this year's harvest. <laughs> um, okay. I'm kind of running out of things to talk about and do at the moment because of course we're in that phase at the moment where things can take a little while to go got a new vehicle type what's that we've got a skiff let's just check that because I haven't really been paying that much attention to my garbage maybe it's time to think about actually upgrading the garbage collection process use vehicles 
got a system vehicle here that's uh, okay not really uh, let's see what we got here uh, waste truck now this guy is going to be good for moving things long distance but 39 tons at 45 kilometers an hour is not going to be that much use to be honest but what I do need to do uh, yeah we, we've got trucks here not doing much at the moment um, so I think we've got our garbage collection under control one thing I am thinking a little bit about is what's the water situation here you've got water you're not complaining about water and we've got a little bit of concrete in there that's good what's it um what are you delivering to then okay <laughs> i think we can get that built we have to kind of build it from this end because it's got this could be interesting because i'm not sure if we got the connection to there I've got new vehicle type available. Yep, that's not that much we can do about that. Right, we've got a gas station here. I certainly want a some fuel in there. Um, because that will stop the trucks kind of wandering around. New vehicle type available. It's a CK4. Um don't think we've got anything we're full here uh, I think we're, we're basically okay at the moment um, let's see if he's going to Right, where are you going? Okay, so he's pushing out that way. I think they're just working through. What are you doing out here? Are you stuck? I want to watch this guy. I think he's... What road are you attached to then? He's building this road. Uh, missing... Asphalt. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think... I think we're kind of at this point where we got trucks in the wrong place uh, I wonder whether we can give an assist with that with from this guy um, if we can give a little bit of an assist There's no worker or mechanism. Because the main construction isn't really under intensive pressure at the moment. Uh, in fact, he's building footpaths, pedendrous and unfinished roads. Kind of wasting effort at the moment. Um, we can't build into there. Maybe we can get... Uh, Okay, I think we will go for the dry, dry bulk storage. Uh, we've got a road missing here, which we need to put in, because that is our uh, prefab factory. I think maybe we do need to get this dry bulk storage underway, 
a little bit worried about the amount of steel it's going to need, but we'll be okay. How are we doing? It's going to take a little while yet. Yeah, we're just over 54%, over so it's not that bad. Um, let's just check the situation with vehicles. We're at 43%. Uh, I think I'll wait to get to 50% and then we'll bring the workforce in. And then they, we can start the vehicle repair process. Uh, let's just make sure office working range. We're going to push you to the full 3,000. Because that's going to be a possible issue. We need to think about that as well. So he's going to have to cover this whole area. And of course, as we push out this way, uh, we're going to have a bit of a problem. Um, kind of thinking uh, we have the normal traditional type village here we're looking at a population of about thousand people here because a coal mine needs uh 220 so needs about 600 people maximum production um, yep i think build that out there this is going to take a little while uh, we've got piles and piles of gravel Where are you going? Okay, he's now on site there. Well, we've got two excavators on site. <laughs> and so we're just going to keep building in that area there. Um, what's the tuning we got here? Got, I think we're doing okay. We've got that's kind of working quite nicely. I'm very tempted to kind of. We got got a hundred people in there. I'm kind of thinking I need another store. And I need to work some way to get a store in. Let me just see. Now that's nice coverage. Okay. I know this might have consequences for my workforce over here. But I think you guys can. Yeah, you cover that whole area. So, right. What we're going to do is... Gonna move everybody over there. I know they're gonna be unhappy. Happiness is too low. What's up with you? <laughs> That's because I just moved you all. Because I want you in better accommodation. And then what we're gonna do is demolish you. And then we are going to remove you. And I think what we're going to do is put a better store in here. And probably what we'll do is we'll put in a, what I should have built in the first place, which is a corner market, if I can get it, get it in here. If I can do that, we can replace this with um, this these two stores. That opens up a little bit of space in the center here. I think, And then that will make everything a little bit more efficient. I do... I kind of think that maybe I need to put a gravel road in there. So, because there is our clinic. Keeping everybody healthy. A little bit of mixed waste piling up there. Why is that? 
<laughs> Boom. Wow. Why have we got foreign workers in there? Am I picking up foreign workers from here? Okay. That's a that's a mistake. It shouldn't be oh, well, in some ways it's not that the end of the world, but uh We got our little truck here. We've got to find something to do with get rid of the mixed waste. Maybe it's time to think about a dump. We could put the dump over here. Uh, we're going to need it a long way away from there. There's water there, so we don't really want to do put it there. Um, uh, we're getting this built here. We're, we're getting a bit of lag on the roads, which is uh, not good. Uh, how are we doing? Right, we've built these out here. I like the slightly convoluted way that they come out here. We need a little bit more gravel. Um, hey, stop delivering workers here. I think if we can get, I don't understand why this isn't being built. Uh, Must admit, I'm quite interested in these uh, being put together. Okay, so we're now rolling in that. So this is being rolled in there. And he's going to go back the other way. That one should give us a road there. If we can get this road finished. We could then possibly get rid of this thing. We'd have a, a kind of connection. Because you can see we get the improved speed here. Uh, let's just see. Yep. No, that's the wrong way around, isn't it? We'd have to get out to here. But uh, I think I want to get this finished, I think. We bump the priority on that a little bit. Then we can build in that, so they can come here and go up there, around there, and then get that finished. We don't need to build the bridges just yet. Um, how about over here? <laughs> I don't want you building those, so... What I want is you building this across to here and then yeah I think I'd like to asphalt out and through here we do need to think a little bit about water but that will be the subject of the next part I think in the next part we'll put a bit more focus on here oh look at that I've got my favorite uh, truck I think no, that's a Haynes. That's a, a Western vehicle. Yeah, I think maybe the next part will start thinking a bit more about the infrastructure of here. Uh, the trouble is, is going to be heating. Because we could put wood-based heating in. The problem is going to be is where we actually build, put the heating plant. Because we, we might have a problem with... Uh, positioning of the various bits and pieces um, need to think about that how are we doing are we 82 percent but I want to do this radio in this part so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play on until we've got the radio research so that um, we can set that up as part of this section 
now got the option here to put a shopping mall in. Um, shopping, just clear the filter. Get rid of that. Go to shopping. Right, we're just going to put shopping in. Put that in, but that's probably a bit too big. This is a corner market. This has got the capacity for 200 people. We've got a Tudor market, which has got a capacity for 106, but I don't think that fits in. Got a corner market V2 here, which is there. How many drop off slots have you got? Two. Uh, you've got two. And this sells everything. So I think if we drop you in about there. Now, one thing I do need to check is you're not in range so we're gonna to have to think about you in range of that one no what we are going to need to do is put in some trash collection here for the store um the reason i'm talking about trash collection up you guys Come on, you should be a lot happier. Are we getting any over 21s yet? No. Um, I think I'd like to build that as well. Yeah, I need to think about trash collection because this store will generate quite a lot of trash and it's not in range. that one and he's not in range of that one so what we're going to have to do is we want a footpath out the back there like that that will improve the access to there i think what we're going to have to do is Put you I'm gonna put you on this corner here. Um put you really short and then we'll just use a I won't waste resources building that. And then we'll get you in there. Get that built. That will have to be high priority. Yeah, I think that will work. What that will mean is that once this is built, um, assuming that he will be able to reach everybody, we yeah, we should be able to get complete coverage of the small town here. Then I can take these out, and we we'll be able we'll get better coverage from there. I just want to check ninety three percent. So we're just going to carry on working that position. A lot of these guys sat around doing nothing. Uh, you can give an assist on that right there. And the footpath out the back and that. Uh, is there any way you can give an assist on some of these roads? Uh, Try and get those finished. Is that? And we can then get this kind of built in. So we get a very funny road system going here. Uh, we do need do need to get the power lines in. Okay, maybe I do need to. I think we got our water supply here, haven't we? We've got. To our water tower there. Okay. While we're going. Um actually 
where's the sewage disposal pickup? We we put the sewage disposal point there, isn't it? That's going to be a big build, isn't it? Because we got that massive sewage drop line down to there. So I think maybe we were just put in some sewage pickup points. Um. I think we'll start with something in around about here. Okay, we've now completed research, but I'll just drop this in and do this first. I think this is going to be the area where we're going to kind of... So if I put one of these in fairly centrally placed, uh, so it covers virtually everything... Just push you out, virtually we'll push you towards that block there. That. And then we uh, <laughs> Okay, we're going to get a problem here because the ground is too flat. Just love this game sometimes. Cancel. What we're going to have to do is put in a. We're going to have to put a trap in about here. See if that will work. This bit is good. Ah, that's the problem. Okay, that is no good. Uh, cancel, remove you. Demolish. Yeah, I made a bit of a mistake here um, because there's a rise there. So what we've got to do is put in in. Sewer, sewage capture point there. Remove. Demolish you. Remove you here. Change. We do shift delete so that I don't have to. And then. What we're gonna have to do is lost the sewage drain pipe. Where are you? <laughs> this requires proper slope. Okay, um, Get my bub grab. Um, just see, put the contour lines back on. Yeah. Okay, what we're going to need to do is get under this hill. So, what we'll have to do, I think if we get ourselves a little bit of height here, big sewage line, game, okay, we're just going to come. There we are. That gives a connection to there, but this is still going to be higher than that, isn't it? We come in. I put this in here. It will tell me this isn't. So what we got to do now is put the console lines back on again. 
and somehow we've now got to lift this up um, five meters. This can this will go to there. Then what we're going to have to do is. Um, I think we'll have to go down 10 meters, something like that. That will connect to there. Okay. Um, you demolish that. Too low. Can't go down much lower. That's it. We've got it connected now. So what we've got is a pump lift pump here, which will give us the height to get to this switch here. In fact, um, I think this is too complicated. Um, that cancel remove. Monish you, monish you. I think what we will do is we'll put the collection points about here. We're going to put a by the fire station like that. Well, it's proper slope. That's because this is too high up. Right, well, just remove you. And I'm just going to push you back a little bit further. Say to about there. Um, just push you to about there um, on that side of the contour line that will now go into there and that won't go to there but and um, what I'm hoping is that I can drive this all the way through okay We know that that can come to there. So if we remove you, um, shift. Uh, oops. Up there. I still want to put a collection point here, but I think what we'll do is we'll push you down here a little bit like that. Make sure you can connect. To think bring you in on that side and then what we've got to do is build a massive pipe which hopefully will wow that's going to be a big pipe it's going to cost a fortune to build and then that should connect into there and then I can and that's a low point so we accept that and imagine how much it's going to cost yeah 2,000 tons of gravel boards 100, 460 tons of concrete wow <laughs> luckily we can make our own concrete right so we've now completed that research so what we should be able to do now is uh, just push up the Soviet propaganda. Oops, no, not enough happiness. Okay, we're going to need 
Ah, well, we need government officials in here that will... 40%, 35%. So we're not actually negatively affecting loyalty now, but we're not actually influencing it either, which is a little bit of a pain, but there's not much we can do about it. Uh, <laughs> Okay, how are we doing over here? I'm aware time is pushing on, so just a bit of a recap. We've, we're building this here. Looks like we've got the steel on site. We just need the concrete on site now to get this built. So it's going to take a little while to get that built. Our harvest is coming in quite nicely on the 27th of September. We've got our new store operating we got that being built this is being built uh, so things are looking good after a fashion uh, we've got roads out here which need to be built I get a feeling that we're no we've got a roller here I feel we need another paver to be honest I'm gonna be more and more roads uh, paver, oh great. Ha. Uh, let me just buy, we, uh, let me just see, we get back to here. Uh, workshop item. Year 15, year 31. And you're not that much more expensive. The problem we've got now is what type of vehicle can you be transport you? Uh, okay, we're going to need a, put the workshop one on, semi, V3S semi truck open, okay, sometimes these don't work properly, so we're going to go in, but come in here, um, actually, it's a sudden thought, go right back to here. Oops, sorry, wrong one. Pay attention. Now you're only 62 kilometers an hour, so uh, the semi truck won't make any difference. So what we can do, come in here, let's let the game run. Uh, open hole, just buy you one of you. Get him up into the <laughs> okay, just let him go and get some fuel. Um, this it's time to take another quick look at our 41 percent so we're getting very very close actually i just thought um what we will do is where is it uh roller one of those as well you get to there got the truck and deliver to there right I want to make sure this guy actually picks up what he's meant to pick up and hopefully he will pick up both at the same time, but not always. Yep, he's got both on board. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to think how many slots have I got left in here? Yeah, we got slots, so... Uh, I think two trucks delivering the bulldozers and that. Okay. 
you you should turn round that's it and he will get out with the roller now I've got obviously no idea where he's going he's probably going to go up here and then we'll start sorting out some of this stuff over here anyway this is where i'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting uh in the next part we're going to carry on developing this area here we'll go through another winter just because i'm going to be very interested to see how the fertility works out in this area because that's something else we need to do obviously we've got to fix the our shop here uh, we're probably going to need to provide some more accommodation because I think we're getting fairly close now to possibly having over 21. In fact, there's a way we can actually check that. Where is it? Three flats. Yeah, we're we're nearly at maximum capacity. So uh, again, we're going to have to build built you in there get that built allow, allow citizens to move in so this is where I'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming